Why does this matter? We have problems within our relationship. A perfect heart would say, you know what? Maybe it's not for your spouse. Maybe it's not for your family. But God found me many years ago. I can't sin against him. What did Joseph say when his master's wife came to him wanting to lie with him? He says, how could I do this great sin against God and against this man, your husband? But we don't see that today. There's a testimony in Psalms that says he looked to see if there's any that served him. They're all gone aside. So what does that mean? They're all doing their own thing. Everyone's doing their own thing. Everyone's following their own heart. And what's the problem when everyone's following their own heart? There's inconsistencies. You're going to do things that are unimaginable. One day you do drugs, one day you're smoking and drinking, one day you're partying, one day you're prostituting yourself, one day you're on the streets, another day you're in someone's bed. That's not the way life is supposed to be. Well, pastor, that's my choice. Your choice is not a choice. It's a spirit you've adopted because of one bad decision which snowballed into another. But if you acknowledge your faults and go back to the cross where you first saw the light, God can make it right again. We give up on ourselves when God has said, I've given you another day. We give up on ourselves when God has given us a new hope. But just like I've said before, I'll say it again, it's up to you what you do with the day. He ends it with a word of faith. God, you will deal bountifully with me because I know only you could deliver me. And I know if it's up to you, you trust me to be in this position I'm in. Could every man go through what you're going through at this moment? and do what's right, that's the difference. Many people go through the same problems that you're going through, but they deal with it very differently. They neglect the children, they neglect the spouse, they neglect themselves, they neglect their job, they neglect God. You're not dealing with it. You're running away from it, trying to find some coping mechanism and it's not working. When you deal with something, you face it head on. We have too many men, women, as well as children that are running away and thinking that's a solution. You have to face it. That's why it doesn't matter if you change states, if you change spouses, if you go and join the military, problems seem to follow you and it seems to be the same problems because you have to learn to face it. And don't get me wrong, you may not feel strong enough to face it at the current moment. Get into fasting, get into prayer, and face it head on. God bless.